We are reaching you live from Umweziala and Su Autonomous Community in Ehime Mbano, local government area in Imo State. We are here to celebrate a virtuous, loving, peaceful, and hardworking woman on her special day, on her coronation as the Ezinne, which was bestowed on her by her Christian community, the St. Anthony's Catholic Church. As you can see, there are a lot of people here, friends, families, where we shall here to celebrate with her on her special day. Sit back, relax, as we bring you all the juicy activities of today's event. <laughs> The title is in need translates to Good Mother or Noble Woman. This is an honorary title given to women in some African Catholic communities, particularly in Nigeria, to recognize their exemplary roles as mothers and their contribution to the church and society at large. You know, this is the month of August and uh, it has become something that uh, it's become like a month for Igbo women. So I think it's very thoughtful of the St. Anthony's uh, Catholic Church in my community of Umezalansu to be doing a thing like this now to appreciate women who, uh, in the assessment of fellow women, have uh, done well and with the doctrine of church, merit to be conferred the honor that the church considers very valuable. So our team uh, is in there. We came in here. And we just felt like supporting that and encouraging her, appreciating her. It's an appreciation uh, for, for who she is and for motherhood. During the Mass at the St. Anthony's Catholic Church, Omeziala and So Ehime Mbano, local government area in Imo State, the parish priest, Reverend Father Okechiku Okoye, while speaking to the Ezinis, advised them to be peaceful in wherever they find themselves, respect and honor their husband, because it is a spiritual gift and award. He also advised them to be diligent in their work as they would serve as role models to the other women. <laughs> Thank you. 
Mrs. Ago, while speaking to the True Vision team, expressed her joy and advised other young women who are aspiring to be the next Izini. I don't even know how I feel. I mean, it's so overwhelming. I, I don't know. I, I don't know that I'll be called out to be an Ezine, you know, noble woman, which means that I'm supposed to be a role model for other women in the church. I will tell myself, I tell, for now, that whatever I did that warranted this, I'll keep on doing those things. And for the younger ones that are coming up, well, it's patience and perseverance. This event was graced by friends, families and well-wishers who came from across Nigeria and beyond to celebrate Izini. Some of the guests who spoke with the True Vision team acknowledged the exemplary life of Mrs. Chinidu Stella Ago, while stating that she is deserving of this honorary award. <laughs> All the Randy family, man. All the Quarando Bodom, man. On a Messara Monye or the Nampa on our Balaham. On a Catani rice, no get December. Even Bob La Batarolo. Dick or Tawaya Shedre. Um, one, you weary. This is not as a compound. So, yeah, I let her on ya. I don't know how to, you know, qualify her goodness from the one and from the time we were growing up. She has not shifted from being who she is. She has been persistent and consistent in being a great woman, a role model. Uh, somebody that you can count on and rely on she's somebody that that you know can carry your load and make changes in your life she's somebody that can you know help you to become better than you are when you meet her i am wishing her the best i'm wishing her that the things she's been doing the things i know her that she's been doing in the past that she should continue and even build more and more on it. The Ezine title that she was conferred with today, as a matter of fact, uh, is long overdue. Um, I personally will add what they call Ezine Nguru. Uh, in any case, uh, Super Ezine, because if you see the number of women uh, that came up here, you will also, that will tell you how uh, she's been touching lives. She's a kind person. She, I think she's a perfectionist. She wants things done the right way. She doesn't like um, people to be belittled or people to be looked down upon or people to be trampled upon. She's a woman that wants to see the good of everybody. You know, she wants everybody around her to be happy. And she, she's a woman of women. She supports the cause of women and children. I'm sure that's even one of the reasons why she was given this um, title, because um, she opens her arms to everybody, especially to women and to children. So she deserves the title she got today, and I am happy. Among many that grace this event are the Izudo Dance Group from Odona Izoha Autonomous Community in Mbisi local government area in Imo State, who gave a stellar performance in celebration of Izini. <laughs> I 
The event took a beautiful turn when the maiden family of Mrs. Ago, the Chikiris, led by their patriarch, Don Chikiri, gifted her and testified of her resilience, strength, and unyielding commitment to her goals. My sister, congratulations once again. I'm so proud of you. We are so proud of you. Thank you very much for taking care of her. You've taken so much care of her. We are so grateful. And um, we are pleased to be here. That's why we moved on mass to be here. And then, to crown it, we are presenting this plaque that was standing for life. If I will go, all the dances will go, but this will remain forever. Thank you very much. While speaking to his in-laws and the guests, Mr. Ima Ago, husband to Chinidu Ago, thanked the guests for gracing the event and wished the guests a safe trip back to their homes. Just as Cardinal Mame Lloyd said, that a mother is she who can take the place of all others, but whose place no one else can take. Ezine Chinidu Ago has proven through her works that she is deserving of this honorary award. Stella Kahlo reporting for True Vision Online TV, the platform that democratizes the media space. Jesus,